This ampersand reminds me of a prayer I heard this week by Nadia Bowles Weber. Dear God, she prays, it feels like the world is opening up again. I'm thrilled and nervous because I'm not who I once was. I'm afraid I'll never be who I once was, even as I'm afraid I will be. Even, she writes, as I try to figure out what size jeans fit the me I am now. Friends, I don't know about you, but I can relate to all of that. Especially as we discern as a church family how to be back in person together. I want to thank the 73 of you who filled out this survey based upon your feedback. We will begin limited in-person worship in the sanctuary on Sunday, April 11th. Registration, face covering, social distancing, and other protocol will be in place, even as you'll have the option, right, to wear your sweatpants and pajamas as we figure out what size jeans we are now, as we come back into the world as the people we are now. Together, we will hold the tension between our hoping and our grieving, Follow, following a God of the ampersand, of the yes and. In fact, this Sunday in worship, you'll hear from John 12, Jesus saying, God, save me from this hour, this death. We follow a God in Jesus who knew resurrection hope before death and still was afraid. Hope and grief, excitement and uncertainty the God of the ampersand.